Hello and welcome to our second lecture on thermoelectric sensors. We've uh, discussed thermocouples already. We're going to work our way into another uh, series or set of devices that uh, measure temperature using electric resistance. So what we mean by electric resistance is that uh, of course temperature is a function of resistance of uh, some material. So a current is sent through some material and uh, the resistance that's measured is a function of temperature. Now these devices are non-self-generating which means that you have to have some sort of an electrical like a power source to uh, charge these systems to get uh, current and uh, current flowing through the, uh, the conductor and then as a result you can measure the change in resistance as a result of a change in temperature. So here is how we can classify the sensors. We classify them either based on um, what they're made of, their conducting device, the type of sensor it is, or its relationship, its temperature and resistance relationship. So let's take a look first at the conductive device. What we mean is, uh, well, actually there are two different types of conducting devices that are most commonly used for electric resistance uh, sensors. And uh, those are resistance temperature detectors. They're also called RTDs. That's the kind of common contraction that's used. And the other is thermistors. So we're going to look at both of these. This lecture will deal with RTDs. So um, our, uh, the uh, relationship, the other way of classifying electric resistance set sensors uh, instead of uh, on the sensor composition is based on its relationship. In other words, uh, how does temperature change with resistance or vice versa resistance change with temperature? Two ways of classifying that either as positive or negative. Positive means that uh, resistance increases with temperature and negative means that resistance decreases with temperature. So just kind of overview or outline, I've made a little chart and this is uh, how you classify electric resistance sensors um, either based on sensor classification and there's two types, RTDs and thermistors. We're going to talk about RTDs in this uh, PowerPoint or this, uh, this video. And then the relationships are uh, either positive or negative uh, where positive means resistance increases with temperature, negative is the opposite. So as I said we're going to discuss RTDs, resistance temperature detectors. And these have a positive relationship meaning that as temperature increases resistance increases. So resistance is directly proportional to temperature. And the typical or most common metal that's used in RTDs is platinum. So usually these thermometers are called platinum resistance thermometers. And the reason they use platinum is because of course platinum doesn't corrode very easily. Most of these sensors are outside exposed to the elements so it's really important that you have metal that does not corrode. Also they say it's easily workable, has a high melting point, and also can be found with very high purity. Here is the uh, equation, this is your calibration equation for a uh, resistance temperature detector, an RTD. Uh, it shows that resistance is a function of temperature and it's not linear, there is a square, so um, it is uh, nonlinear and um, R0 is your uh, base uh, uh, or constant uh, resistance and then temperature changes as a result or with temperature changes you get a change in resistance. So typically uh, RTDs are calibrated at known temperatures of 0, 100 and then also the boiling point of sulfur which is 446.6 degrees Celsius. And this equation is only for a given range of temperatures. Uh, the equation for RTDs actually is more complex Typically this equation fits our needs uh, here on Earth, but uh, of course if you want to measure a very high temperatures or extremely low temperatures, then you need an equation that has higher order terms. 
Here we're only dealing with uh, the square of temperature. So the coefficients for this equation, A and B, for platinum resistance thermometer and also the base re uh, resistance R0 are given here in the equation. You're not going to have to do any calculations. This is just for illustrative purposes. So with uh, RTDs, usually the resistance is very low and you know, change of temperatures is usually small. So a lot of times in measuring, uh, you need some sort of amplifier to uh, convert that uh, resistance to a voltage and then it's more easily uh, uh, measurable and also uh, being able to uh, you know, calibrate that a little bit more easily. Another problem with RTDs is anytime you're running a current through a wire um, you're, and there is some resistance then you're actually uh, heating up the wire a little bit. Much like a toaster. Uh, when you plug in a toaster you're running current through uh, the heating elements. Uh, the heating elements are high resistance but even a, a conductor, any conductor will heat up as you run current through it. So there is some error that's introduced just because of the heating effect of uh, the conductor. So um, typically that can be corrected. Um, uh, there's a constant that's used in the calibration for that. RTDs are used a lot of different places. One of the most common places you'll find RTDs is on airplanes. And we're talking transport type airplanes. These sensors are not cheap and they measure temperature um, of uh, the air. Actually, we'll talk about this later on, but they measure total air temperature. So this is the standard instrument. As a matter of fact, the model that's used in most aircraft is a uh, instrument called a Rosemount Model 102, which was developed by uh, the Rosemount uh, uh, Company, which was located in Rosemount, Minnesota. Uh, they since been, have been purchased by uh, BF Goodrich. Goodrich is a uh, big uh, manufacturer of uh, aviation sensors, and this is just one more sensor that they have in their line. Another use for RTDs, and this is very important, meaning that you will more than likely be quizzed on this on the exam, is that it is the standard for ASOS machines and it's used um, in uh, the Hygra thermometer. It's a platinum uh, resistance temperature device. Has a range of temperatures uh, which we normally expect of course here on Earth and it's very reliable, one of the more reliable instruments on an ASOS machine. So that's a little bit about resistance thermometers and specifically RTDs. Uh, in future lectures we'll talk about thermistors.